channel it's me justina Alyssa. today we're going to be doing my hair with the dyson and i'm so excited to show you guys every single thing that i've learned since the last video that i posted on how i did my hair with the dyson and how it is having curly hair using the dyson and i just wanted to let you curly hair girls know that if you bought the dyson do not return it okay i've only had the dyson for about like eight to nine months now and i've gotten so much better at it and i'm gonna show you i also want to thank every single person who watched my video who commented and shared so many helpful tips with me and who, you know anyone who liked it or watched my shorts thank you all so much I do apologize in advance of my first Dyson video because the background and the lighting was not so great, but I'm learning and I'm hoping that this video looks a lot better in the lighting, but thank you so much for watching and for commenting. And we're gonna be going over some tips that I've learned in the comments. I'm really excited to share this with you all because I do have a big party to go to tonight and I can't wait to go with my Dyson hair. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm gonna wash my hair now. And when I get back, I'm gonna show you every single product that I use to wash my hair or that I use for like heat protectors or just any, whatever I put in my hair, I wanna share with you all so you can see the entire process. Okay, so this is my hair. I'm gonna show you before I wash it. This is my curly hair. This is like three days I haven't washed it. So I just washed my hair and the two products that I used were from a brand called Attitude and they're actually a non-toxic brand which I love. Well this is the hydrating shampoo and conditioner and I will include everything in the description for you so you can see which ones I use but they also have a lot of great products on there. The smell is very good also. It's it's lightly scented, but I like the smell that it has. It's nothing like too strong because we do not want fragrances in our products. So the product that I'm gonna use is Redken. I did use this in my first video and it's still very good. So I'm gonna put a little bit. It's kind of a lot, but and I'm just gonna rub it all over my hair So that's the first one. And now the second one that I use is from Eva New York. And this is another one. This is like a primer spray. It's actually very greasy. So I recommend if you have greasy hair, don't use this because it, there are a lot of oils in here, but it does a great job. And it also has a really good smell. So I will include this in the description bar also for you guys. Now that I put all of my heat protectors inside of my hair, I'm gonna comb it so that it can mix in more. Make sure you always start combing your hair from the bottom up. My hair is not really that knotted. So that's why I'm doing this quickly, but if my hair was very knotted, I would be starting from the bottom and then slowly going up, but my hair is not bad at all. So I like to just make sure that all the product is being spread throughout my hair. So now that my hair is combed out, I did want to show you all the attachments that the Dyson Airwrap comes with. It does come in a travel box, which is I have the blue one, so it has like gold on here, but the box is blue and it is beautiful. So the first attachment that I always use is the dryer. Um, this dryer though, I guess this is like the, the newer one. This one has two different attachments. So this part, you can switch it. This part is the front part of the dryer. And then this, the sides are for like the frizz. So I think you have to use, I don't but I know you have to use it like one way and it blows the frizz downwards and it's supposed to make like a nice sleek look on your hair. 
So I don't really use that part too much. I just use the blow dryer. So maybe when I learn how to use that part, I'll share with you all. So that was the dryer. And then the, the next two that we have are, it's the soft smoothing brush. So this one, it's literally just like a brush. And it's like, you could actually comb your hair with it also, but this one is very good for curly hair girls. And this one is the firm smoothing brush. This one, I try to do my hair with like very slowly and it actually made my hair very frizzy. So when I use this one, it keeps my hair looking nice and straight down. So I, I will show you that in a few, but this one is actually my second step that I do. So I do the dryer first and then I use this one. Next we have the barrels. So this one is the 1.2 inch and this one's the 1.6. This one, it's just different sizes for like how big you want your waves to look. And honestly, they both are really good. So I might do waves, I might not. Let's see how my hair comes out. I think I wanna do waves for this event tonight. So you guys can see how it works with the barrels and how cute of a curl it gives you. And this last attachment is the volumizing brush. And in my last video, I showed you how I use this, but I actually only used this one in my last video. If you watched it, you'll see, like I was not very familiar with how to use the Dyson and all the other attachments. So I used this one pretty much the entire way to blow dry my entire hair. And then I did flat iron it, which I did get a comment about. No, what's the point of using the Dyson and then straightening my hair after? And she had a really great point because the Dyson doesn't damage your hair, but the flat iron does. So there's no point of me doing both, but I was just learning on how to do my hair better. So in the last video, I did use this one a lot and I thought that's all I needed was this especially like when you go to the hair salon this is mainly the brush that they use to start blow drying your hair instead I use the soft smoothing brush and it works better than this one so I'm gonna show you so before I start blow drying my hair I'm gonna section my hair only into three I'm not gonna do it by four because it's a lot easier and then I can just do the back the whole way so Let's part this hair. Okay. So first thing we do is blow dry. So I'm just gonna blow dry the roots just so it has so it's not curly and it can start getting straight. Okay, so it's pretty dry, not really, not too much. <laughs> but let me show you from the back. A little dry not fully dried but it's a little dry and now we're gonna switch to this attachment so the soft smoothing brush I'm gonna use and also like I said before I'm gonna use it on high heat and high speed So it's like kind of dried, it's not fully yet. But with this brush, you have to go very smoothly and slowly so that it just gets the hair. If you're if you're using this part and you're just going super quick, super quick while blow drying, it's only gonna make your hair frizzier. So that was another tip that I learned in the comments was to try and use the, the smoothing brush, but do it very slowly and it works. I mean, this looks great already and it's not even fully dried yet. And my ends are still pretty dead. <laughs>
do dice and make some lemonade. Okay, so you can see that with the brush, you can see like some wavy spots here. Like I have such curly hair, so it's like really hard to get it to just be pinned straight. So what I like to do is touch it up with the volumizing brush. That should be like good enough and then now it's time to curl we're going to use the 1.6 barrel because i want some really big curls today for the party So this is after barrel 1.6 and I like to let them sit as a curl for a little while so that they can stay longer but look at how cute and it let me see let's see if we can comb this side out now so you can see what it turns into because you saw how my hair was before when i just literally comb blow dried it and then once i curled it with the barrel it's like a whole different kind of straight hair so i don't know if you can see how much of this you can see but it's super cute and it looks like i just got my hair blown out so what I do is I will literally just hold the barrel on and count to like 20 seconds, shut it off, and then release it. I don't do the cold shock because I feel like it's there's no point really in it. So I would just do the heat 20 seconds, off, take it out, but like slowly. I would not just like yank it out. I just go with the curl so I don't like straighten it out and I keep it as a curl. I don't comb it out right away. I give it a little, like a couple of minutes so that I can set and turn into like a nice wave. I'm just gonna brush this side out a little. It's a little, it's still too soon, but I'm gonna touch it up. Hair looks phenomenal and it looks like I literally just got my hair blown out. It looks so good. So let me know what you 
guys think. You know, I'm still learning how to use my Dyson. I'm sure I'll never become a professional, but I will get better and better at it the more I do it. So if you have any more tips or if you want to comment, let me know how I did. Let me know what you think I should try. And even if there's products that you would like for me to try out and see, like I have curly hair also, so I would like to do um, some videos on how to curl my hair and how I wash it, what I put inside of it, and make it look cute. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, if you want to know more, just comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I hope you liked the final touch of my hair because I'm loving it.